Hey guys, welcome to TechSplicit and in today's video we're going to talk about some of the useful modules that we can get in the Exposed Framework. So let's get started. Alright, so before we start the video, the prerequisites would be obviously a rooted phone and Exposed Framework installed on your phone. So once you have the Exposed Framework installed, all you need to do is you need to, this is the Exposed Framework and you need to go to the download section where you'll find a lot of uh, modules which are available in the exposed framework itself. So there are uh, quite a few and uh, you'll have to browse to them for quite some time you know to exactly see what all modules are available in the framework. But yeah coming to some of the important frameworks that at least I use on a daily basis would be uh, let me just adjust the brightness here. Alright so these are some of the uh, important modules that I use. So the first module would be I've actually got a question yesterday regarding the uh, quick settings for a panel here on the top. Uh, I'm actually running a Marshmallow on my phone, but however, my phone is modded to look like Android N. So this is the quick setting panels, panel of uh, Android N, basically. And uh, even if you go to the settings, and uh, if you go to about phone, it would reflect that it is running Android 6.0.1. But however, if you just, you know, go inside, it would show as you're running Android N, which is Android Nougat, but it's actually running Android Marshmallow. So however, uh, coming to the modules, like I said, the module that I use to uh, get this look of Android Nougat would be the Android Anify module. So again, the, you would find this module in the download section, as I mentioned before. So... You, would, you can just uh, download this module directly and install it and there are some of set, some of the settings that you can see here on the screen. Uh, so you can actually adjust the recents menu to look like Android N and uh, there are pretty much some of the settings like the uh, dark app theme or the primary color. You can also hide the launcher icon and some of them like that. You can just quickly uh, have a 10 minute session browsing through all these sessions and you'll get uh, used to it. So there's uh, actually no learning curve for this. You can get used to the app within five to ten minutes. This is one of the useful apps uh, to kind of mod the look of your phone. Some of the other apps that I use uh, when using Exposed Framework is iFont. Again, iFont is also for you know kind of modding the look of the phone, and this is the app that I'm talking about. This actually you can get this app in the Play Store also. There is no need to download it specifically from the Exposed Framework, but like I said, you can also download it from the framework itself. So basically, the only purpose of this app is to, you know, mod the look by changing the uh, fonts, uh, which you can basically use on your phone. So there are a lot of uh, fonts actually available. So it, it took me a lot of time to go through all the available apps. So if you can see here, there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, fonts that are available. So it'll take a lot of time, trust me, to go through all those uh, fonts and, you know, select the uh, the font that you want. So having these many fonts available is also one of the problems that I think because uh, once you have so many options uh, from which you can select one, it would be uh, really a tough decision for you to make to, you know, kind of select one font. But the good thing is that you can keep changing, you know, fonts every now and then to refresh the look of your phone. So this is uh, one useful app that I use from the Exposed Framework. And coming to the next one, I would want to show one more app, which is Gravity Box. So yeah, this is Gravity Box. And in Gravity Box, so you can basically, this shows here that it's Gravity Box MM, which means this Gravity Box is for Marshmallow specifically. If you're running Android or if you're running any other you know, uh, versions, then you can, you, sh you should basically install that specific version, uh, which suits your phone. So since I'm having Marshmallow on my phone, I'm, I've currently installed the Gravity Box Marshmallow. And uh, this has a lot of tweaks and a lot of settings. As you can see on the phone itself, there are many and each of the menu has again, uh, sub, sub tabs and you know, there are a lot of options that you can tweak. So if, if if you want me to basically explain all the settings which are available in this, this video would take at least one hour for me to explain all the settings. But however, like I said, there are a lot of options. And uh, one thing that I want to add here is not all the options, you know, work on all the, all the phones or all the rooms is basically what I say. Specifically, if you're using 
factory ROMs like the one which I'm using in this phone. This is not a custom ROM that I've installed. This ROM is the one that I've received with the Lenovo P2 which is the factory or the stock ROM. Since this is the stock ROM, I will not be able to use all these settings which means some of the settings even if I make any changes in the settings uh, panel that specifically would not make any major changes or that, that, that would not make any change at all to the phone since it is a stock ROM. But if you're using a custom ROM uh, like uh, uh, you know lineages or something like that you can uh, mostly make changes to all of the uh, tweaks that are available in this app so the lock screen tweaks in the lock screen tweaks you have a lot of options here so basically these all are related to the lock screen itself and uh, you will have many options from which you can choose and if you go back, these are the status bar tweaks, the navigation bar tweaks, pie controls, power tweaks, and there are many actually. If you if we just keep on talking, there'll be a, a lot more about which we can discuss basically. So this is one useful app and there are a lot of modifications that you can do to your interface and the performance of the phone using this app and it is quite useful. So this is something that I kind of run on a daily basis. It's like a daily driver on my phone also. There is one more app that I want to talk about. The app's name is Smooth System Progress Bars. There is not big difference that this app will do to your phone. Basically, it just changes the uh, kind of look of the progress bar on your phone. If you just want that extra customization or extra look to your phone, it changes the progress bars. Like when you're downloading any information and downloading any apps or any files from the uh, internet, you basically get a download bar. So it just changes the look of that uh, specific bar. For example, if I just tap on this app and if I want to install it, you can yeah you can ac actually see this progress bar which uh, shows in the beginning it kind of changes it it has a different look but from the normal uh, progress bar that is available it just changes the look that's so a, a good to have app or good to have uh, mod to the interface on your phone so that is one thing that i use every now and then and uh, if you're specifically using marshmallow the next app which is available in the exposed framework that I'm talking about is specifically for phones which are running on Marshmallow. So if you're having Marshmallow, some of you might have noticed a bug that when you press any volume button, the drop down which is coming down, it just stays like that. Since now, now I've installed the mod, so I press it and it goes back after some time. But the bug with Marshmallow is when you press it, it just comes down and it stays like that until you touch the screen. It'll not go back to its position until you until unless you kind of touch the screen here. So basically, this app is to fix that bug. I've installed it. It works pretty good. There is no issues whatsoever. So the name of the app that you can download from the Exposed Framework is it's Volume Slider Delay Fix for Marshmallow. That is the name of the app. I would have that name included in the description of this video, but however, the name would be Volume Slider Delay Fix for Marshmallow. So that is one other you know, module that you can install from the Exposed Framework. And that is pretty useful if you're specifically using Marshmallow, like I said. And another module that I want to talk about is YouTube background playback. So like the name says it all, if you want to, if you, if you just install this app, what happens is you can open YouTube and you can kind of, you know, just play any video and it starts playing. As soon as it starts playing, you can just minimize it. So the audio keeps coming down at the background. So basically YouTube would be playing at the background and uh, it wouldn't stop. So generally what happens is if you open YouTube, if you select some video to play, and if you just minimize it, the video stops playing. Basically YouTube stops playing any video that you've opened. But by installing this app, even if you minimize it, the video kind of keeps playing in the background. It definitely, it wouldn't be useful to watch videos because obviously you wouldn't want to watch video by minimizing it in the background. But however, if you're, if you're listening to some music in YouTube, this would definitely be uh, useful for those of the folks because if you just put in some uh, song let's say some song in YouTube and if you just want to connect the earphones and if you want to put your phone in the pocket you cannot do this uh, while you you know the YouTube is open because definitely when you put the phone in the pocket there are chances that for YouTube to you know kind of close and the song to stop so like I said this would definitely be useful if you want to listen some songs in YouTube what you can basically do is you can just uh, you know, uh, play the video, minimize and play YouTube in the background. So that's it, guys. These are some of the apps that I use, some of the uh, useful apps that I use on a daily basis with Exposed Framework. And there are a lot many modules also 
if you want if you want to know more about any other modules in specific just leave a comment below i would make uh, some other videos regarding the modules that are available in uh, exposed but these are some of the modules that i felt that would be useful to many of you so please make sure that you like the video if you like it and uh, consider subscribing it definitely helps and see you in the next one take care